So I want to sit down with you, my sweet friend, and talk a little bit about cycle syncing. This is something that I have been super passionate about for uh, a couple years, and it ebbs and flows in seasons where I'm really focused on it and paying attention to it, and then other seasons where I honestly kind of forget about it or life just gets in the way, which is fine. And I'm coming back into a season where I'm noticing that I'm really needing to like get back into the cycle syncing, really paying attention to the rhythms that my body is doing. I have noticed that um, it's just really important and when I'm not when I'm not keeping track of my where I'm at in my cycle and honoring those seasons well, that life just doesn't go as well. <laughs> And so I want to share a little bit about my story, a little bit about what cycle syncing is and why it matters, and then how you could implement that in like a very large overview. Um, because I think every woman should find I'm the- I'm not sure I understand. Oh, well, I'm not talking to you, Siri. That's so funny. I don't think I said Siri, but whatever. Siri distracted me. Okay, that's fine. Let's hop into it. Okay, so cycle syncing is pretty much the um, mindset of um, honoring the fact that your body, as women, so we're talking as women, your body goes through four phases or stages in one month. All right, so men's... Uh, hormone cycle more with the sun and our bodies cycle more with the moon and so and before like guys I love Jesus this isn't woo-woo the Lord created our bodies so intricately and to be in sync with nature that he created like this is it just the more I learn about wellness and my body and my hormones, the more I'm in awe of um, how he created me and how like I am intricately made, all right? So our bodies as women have four different phases. And so they are menstruation, follicular, ovulation or ovulatory, and luteal. And so every month you go through these four phases and within those four phases, you have different, your brain is different. Like your brain changes up to 25% each phase. All right. So your brain changes, your hormones are changing, your energy is changing. Um, everything within you is changing for the most part every week, let's say that. All right. And so having this mindset as women of, okay, well, I'm going to do this same workout every day. I'm going to do this same work every day. Obviously, like there are some jobs and people that like you have to do the same job every day, but like, you know, we're like, um, I should be able to get up and go and socialize any day of the month or, um, my energy. Like I used to be so down on myself when I would have a low energy day. Oh, I'm just so unmotivated. What is wrong with me? And the more I learn about my phases and how my body is actually functioning, it gives you this space to breathe and to have grace and to like just rest and find those rhythms. In the same way with like seasons, if well, I was going to say if every season was summer, which here living on the island, which it is weird, but like you still kind of have a winter, but like you're not, that's so funny. Yeah. Cause I'm like, you're not going to be at the beach like every day all year. Uh, well maybe if you're anyways, we kind of are, but that's, let's talk about like mainland. Okay. You, you enjoy and need those season changes. And I will say for, for us who are like, we're not getting to experience as many season changes in our world. It, like it really is important. It's those, those 
seasons of, oh, it's, um, it's getting like fall and you're kind of getting inward and you're getting cozy in your home and then winter comes and you get really cozy and you just kind of stay inside and sit by the fire and have friends like with you under a blanket and you're just kind of cozy. That's, that's winter for me. Um, and then spring comes and buds are coming, like blooming on the trees and birds are beginning to chirp more and like life is beginning more outside your house. And then summer comes and everyone's in full effect. And it's just like, let's go, let's have our beach days, let's have our cookouts, let's do this, let's do that. And so with that, you can think of each phase with us as women kind of in that of like menstruation phase being the first day of your period until it's done of like winter so during your period you kind of you think winter like it's okay to not plan anything it's okay to um, consider napping as your movement or as your exercise for the day it's okay to just be um, and then in your follicular phase, like knowing where your hormones are at, um, like you, you ebb and flow. And so when you have, so let's say this with this week, I have been super motivated the last few days, like super feeling, um, creative with my mind and wanting to create and all, just all these things. And, um, then today I felt a little bit more like, uh, and I can easily go to, well, what is wrong with me? Okay, um, you're going into a new season, into a new phase where your hormones are beginning to drop because the further out you are in your um, cycle, your, like your last phase, like your luteal phase, once it's like your hormones are fully at their lowest peak, your period begins. And then it be like the whole cycle begins again. And so... Um, to be able to recognize, oh, I'm in my ovulation phase. Okay, this is a great time to, whether it's with work of, okay, I'm going to like reach out to more people. I'm going to make, um, have a, a bigger meeting. I'm going to meet some new people. I'm going to, because like ovulation is when that phase where you're feeling a little bit more magnetic and energized. And let me say this too, though, like this is, this is a, um, Kind of an overarching that if you have hormone imbalance you may be like no actually i don't feel that way because for a long time when um the books were telling me like you should feel your best i was like actually i feel my worst what is wrong and so this is just like a super general thing as well all right so we go through menstruation which is winter and then you go into the follicular phase, which is after, it's kind of like during menstruation and after, but we're going to kind of go with dummy, like hormones for dummies right now. Okay. Um, so you have menstruation and then you have follicular, which is the second phase where, um, your hormones are beginning to build again after menstruation, kind of getting ready for ovulation and all that good stuff. And then around day 14, around you ovulate all right and then from there your hormones begin to drop so then you have ovulation and then you move into the luteal phase which kind of is broken up into two different phases and so the first part of your luteal phase you are going to have more energy and then the second part of the luteal phase right before menstruation begins your energy is going to begin to drop again and so you can't necessarily do the same workouts in the end of your luteal phase as you would during ovulation. And the problem with us as women is we have been brought up like that's normal and you just push through it. But what happens when you push through it is you really can mess up your cortisol, which is another hormone, which is a fat storage stress hormone. Like you don't wanna whack out your cortisol levels I did that for way too many years and it's not good. It's not pretty. It doesn't help with weight loss at all. Um, you can deplete your adrenals, your energy levels. Like it, it can put you more in a hole. I spent years 
pushing against my hormone cycles that I didn't even realize I was doing because I was trying to lose weight. I was trying to um, make my outside appearance look like my hormones had their shit together and um, and it really just buried me into a hole. I had major adrenal fatigue, cortisol issues. Um, my doctor with blood work, I came in and she was like, I don't know how you actually look at your blood work. I don't know how you walked in and like you're, and how you're standing up. Like you should be in bed, not functioning. Um, but that was me trying to do super strict diets and cleanses and restriction, like food restriction and intermittent fasting and really hardcore workouts and not listening and honoring my body and the rhythms that the Lord created them to have naturally. And so a few years ago when I started um, really focusing on cycle syncing and okay, in this phase, I'm going to do lower impact. So, okay, I'm, I'm in my menstruation phase. I'm going to go on light walks. I'm going to do light stretching and Pilates. I'm not, unless I feel up for it, I'm not going to push myself. I'm not going to should myself. All right. But in ovulation phase, I may want to go take a new class. I may want to really like hit it hard and do something that I haven't done in a while or um, do a harder or longer workout if I feel like it. It's all again, not, and this is where you have to learn like discipline and shoulds because you don't want to should yourself, but you want to find discipline in that. And so with cycle syncing and phases, it matters with how you parent, how you are with your husband, um, how you are with your friends, social, work, if you're an entrepreneur, um, I'm trying to like working out, even food, like you can cycle sync food, like certain foods your our bodies need more of in different phases. And then just the mindset of knowing that in different phases, you're not broken. You're not lazy. You're not this, you're not that you're, um, you know, like it just gives you a place of rest and understanding of who you are as a woman and gives you a place to start and to be able to move forward. So I want to wrap this up because I could go into much more depth. I don't want to overwhelm, but I also want women to like, I hope that this was maybe enough of a like, Oh wait, this is even possible. And so if this is something that you would love to learn more about, if you want me to dig into more about, I would love to do that. Let me know. And I'm also creating a digital planner that is all around um, the cycle syncing. It lays it all out. And so you can, track your like where you're at and how you should move and what you should eat and um how you should sh sh well, and how you should socialize and even with goals and projects like it's just i'm i'm pouring it all into that planner so i'm hoping that that could be a really good one i'm making it for me because i need a new one for the coming year but i'm hoping that it can also be a blessing to other women as well but um I hope this is something that you can chew on and that there's something that you can take away from this because our bodies are just so intricately made by the Lord. And I don't ever want women to think that our hormones are a curse, but they're actually this really beautiful superpower that the Lord's given us. And we just need to um, educate ourselves and lean into it to enjoy the full capacity of what he's created these hormones to do for us.